people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another exciting FNAF news video, and likely the final FNAF news video of the year, the final news video of 2023. And we got a lot of stuff to talk about today, with the recent release of Help Wanted 2, we got to do, we'll talk about upcoming ports for the game, the FNAF movie is finally available now on DVD, Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD, and it's got some bonus features, and then a whole bunch of merch updates from companies like U2s and Hex, so we've got a lot to talk about. If you're excited for all the news, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. I hope you all had a holly jolly Christmas season. And speaking of that, first up, we got some companies celebrating the festive season. Steel Wool putting out this beautiful art piece featuring the cast of Security Breach. It says, Happy Holidays from Steel Wool Studios, but that was not the only thing Steel Wool released for Christmas, because to really get you in the mood, they released this one hour long fireplace setting of the FNAF Pizzaplex. I actually saw a lot of FNAF fans over on Twitter tweet out that they had this on on their TV during Christmas Day, so that was awesome to see. And lastly, we had Click Team tweet out this wonderful art piece featuring Lolbit dressed up as Santa Claus. Still very curious about Click Team's obsession with Lolbit, but we're gonna have to wait and see what they're cooking up. And now let's move on to a segment I feel like we haven't done in a while, and that's brand new book releases. Because the other day we saw the release of the official movie novel for Five Nights at Freddy's. I saw a lot of people confused. This is basically just the movie put into book form. Here's the back. If you want to take a look, I will say there's extra dialogue and some extra minor scenes in the book. So honestly, if you enjoyed the FNAF movie and you want to see more of the world, more of the characters interacting, I'd highly recommend picking up this book. And we also got Fazbear Fright's graphic novel number four. It features the stories The Breaking Wheel, Serge's Lucky Day, as well as The Cliffs. Moving on to brand new merchandise, you may notice that right down here we've got the official Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy Fazbear pillow pet. Well, thankfully, very soon, Freddy's gonna have a little buddy to join him because Foxy is officially getting his pillow pet. This is what the little guy currently looks like, and I will say, he looks so goofy. I love him so much. No exact date on the release of the Foxy Pillow Pet, but presumably it's gonna be pretty soon because he looks pretty much done. The page says coming soon. And speaking of new plushies, we got Hex finally releasing their official Mangle plushie. And I will say the end result for Mangle is absolutely insane. Huge props to Warren, James, and Daco for going through with this. It looks absolutely incredible. Very accurate to how the Mangle looks. It also comes with a whole bunch of other accessories as well. It's got a brand new bag design featuring some awesome art artwork of the mangle. Of course, like the other Hex plushies, it's also got a collectible card. There's also a sticker sheet of some of the other FNAF 2 Hex plushies. And because Mangle has such a complex build, it also comes with two support stands so you can display Mangle properly. And speaking of Hex plushies, we've got an updated look at their upcoming Springtrap plushie. Now, the first thing that stuck out to me was that he's holding a knife. Been a few times now in the past that it seems like knives have been censored from FNAF media, but frankly, it makes too much sense with Springtrap to have a knife, so it's awesome to see that that's his accessory. And overall, the new look of Spring Boy just looks absolutely fantastic. Can't wait for them to keep cooking with this guy. And now let's move on to some U2's news, and there is a lot, so buckle up. First up for new releases, we got a Security Breach X Dan TDM figure. Definitely wasn't expecting this. But you've got Dan dressed up as Glamrock Freddy, as well as his two pugs standing right beside him. This figure is available right now, so if you're a fan of Dan TDM, may I recommend this figure for all you FNAF heads out there? Also out right now are the Fanverse plushies. For the joy of Creation, Ignited Collection, you've got Ignited Freddy as well as Ignited Foxy. For Five Nights at Candies, you've got Long Candy as well as Sitting Candy. And then for Pop Goes, you've got Long Pop Goes as well as Sitting Pop Goes. And that is not it because literally tomorrow we're getting yet another new wave of FNAF merchandise. U2's FNAF Help Wanted figures are finally releasing. As you can see, we've got Shadow Mangle, Glitch Trap, Dreadbear, and Grim Foxy. They will only be available for 14 days, so two weeks. And especially if you're a fan of Dreadbear, you might find this next part pretty interesting because one out of every five or six Dreadbear figures actually will become glow in the dark. And here is what they look like. It's absolutely amazing how well these guys glow. Like I said, though, this will not be every Dreadbear figure, but if you're lucky and you beat the odds and you get this glow in the dark Dreadbear figure, congratulations. It's an awesome, very rare figure. But we're not only getting figures based on Help Wanted because YouTube's also revealed that we're getting pins featuring the same characters Grim Foxy, Glitch Trap, Dreadbear, Shadow Mangle and a second glitch trap pin. It's unclear right now if these pins will also be limited to two weeks like the figures. And now for some upcoming U2's merchandise. First of all, we got some brand new Sun and Moon Shoulder Riders, which is a little weird because as you can see, I've already got the fellows right here. They've already released Sun and Moon Shoulder Riders, so it looks like we're getting new ones. U2's also revealed an upcoming Glamrock Freddy Shoulder Rider, so it seems like we're gonna get another set of Security Breach Shoulder Riders. And also, just like Hex, U2 showed off an updated look at their upcoming Spring Trap plushie. This is 
a side-by-side -side comparison between the old prototype that you may have seen of the Springtrap plush, and my god, this new design looks absolutely so, so much better. All props to them, they heard the community's feedback, they went back, they changed how he looks. They fixed up his ear, they fixed up his eyes, his mouth. He's even the actual color of Springtrap now, so you twos, you're cooking with this one. And speaking of redesigns, not too long ago, we got the Ruin Wave, however, Glamrock Chica was not included in that release. That's because her original design, fans were not pleased with it, so you twos didn't release it, they went back to the drawing board and they sculpted up a brand new product, and this is that brand new design for Ruin Chica, and my god, again, you twos, you're knocking it out of the park! A massive, massive improvement in this brand new design of Chica is set to release in spring of 2024. In fact, thanks to a recent new Reddit AMA, we got a whole bunch of updates on upcoming releases. First of all, the FNAF movie line of figures is going to contain four to five figures, one of those being Doug, who we've seen in the past, a figure of Mike also got confirmed, and even Jason Blum might be getting a figure inside of that wave, so that's gonna be super interesting. But there are still a few slots open, so I'd love to know what character from the FNAF movie would you love to get a figure of. Of course, I think the main character people want is William Afton, you know, the Yellow Rabbit, Steve Raglan. Vanessa is also a super popular character, Abby as well. But before we get the FNAF movie wave, the Withered figures will be releasing in March. YouTube's confirmed that will be the next wave of figures to be released, so we got the Withered's in March, and then after that, the FNAF movie wave. They did also reveal that a Withered Freddy plush has been designed, so it seems like we might also get Withered plushies. Another other news, they said that the toys might be getting figures for next year. Ruin slash help wanted plushies are also being designed for next year. The keycaps are still in the works, but they're taking a while because they want them to be good quality. And lastly, for U2's news, it's kind of somber. We got the news that the illuminated figures are no longer being worked on. Austin from U2 said that these were ultimately canned and got replaced by the haunted and flocked FNAF 1 figures. But now let's finally move on to some brand new game updates. First up, we got some news on the Ruin Xbox and Nintendo Switch ports, but Unfortunately, it's some pretty bad news. In a recent blog post, Ray McCaffrey had this to say about the Xbox and Switch ports for Ruin. Back in August, I said that we were hoping to have the Xbox version out by the end of this year, and it came really close. Ultimately, we decided to push it out a little more. We will pick it up back in January with fresh eyes so that we can quickly give you an actual release date. Pushing was not an easy decision, but we hope that you can understand why it was the right one. As well as, unfortunately, there are no new updates for Ruin's Switch release right now. Put it plainly, we do not have any concrete plans and have not started development. I wish I had better news, but we want you to know where it actually stands. So unfortunately for Xbox and Switch FNAF fans, you gotta wait just a bit longer to get your hands on Ruin. And now let's move on to another Steel Wool project, this one that just released not too long ago. Help Wanted 2 just got its first patch for PC and PlayStation 5. The most notable change I'd say is that there is now support for Steam Link. And for other platforms getting the game, we got Steel Wool taking to Twitter. And they write, those who purchase the VR version will receive a flat version for free once it launches in spring of 2024. Also in spring of 2024, the game will come to the Oculus Quest, and you can actually pre-order the game on Oculus Quest right now. And lastly, for this FNAF news video, let's talk about the FNAF movie. First up, we got some pretty interesting behind-the-scenes look at some concept art for the film. Here we can see the original design, the illustrations for the outside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. I don't know about you guys, I absolutely adore seeing behind-the-scenes concept art for films and games, and hopefully we'll get a lot more next year because on August 20th, we'll be getting a book titled The Art and Making of the FNAF Movie, so that's super exciting. Next up, we got the very exciting news that the FNAF movie is now available on DVD, 4K Ultra HD, and Blu-ray. You can see I've got the DVD right up there. This is what the home release of the film looks like. As you can see, the sleeve is actually holographic. And also at the top, this is the Night Shift Edition. What does that mean? Well, first of all, let's slide off this case. There we go. This is what the back looks like and those secret menu items you see right there. Those are the bonus features available on this version of the film. So you've got Five Nights at Freddy's from game to big screen, killer animatronics, and Five Nights in three dimensions. Now, you may notice those are the same bonus featurettes we got on the digital version if you got it on some select platforms. So, unfortunately, there are no deleted scenes on the physical version of the FNAF film, which upset a lot of fans. Even some bonus features that were seemingly confirmed, like a gag reel and director's commentary, are not featured on this version, which is very strange. But either way, we're lucky enough to get the featurettes we did get, and as we can see, we got the cast and crew. Piper Rubio, Matthew Lillard, Josh Hutcherson, Emma Tommy, as well as Jason Blum, celebrating the physical release of the FNAF movie. And speaking of Matthew Lillard, that is going to bring us to our final news topic for today, the upcoming sequel 
prequels for the FNAF movie because those have been confirmed, especially considering Matthew Lillard, who plays William Afton, has signed a three picture deal. However, it seems like he wants to make a bit more than three films because in a few interviews at this point, he said that he's hoping for a bunch of FNAF movies to be made. He said, I'm pretty thrilled right now to be a part of a new franchise. I'm hoping that we get to do a bunch of these and if I'm the Voldemort, that means I'll always be in it. As long as we, at the end of however many movies we do, satisfy what people want, that's all I could ask for. So it seems that Matthew, much like his character William Afton, he wants to keep coming back. Like I said, it seems like a trilogy is pretty much confirmed for this franchise, especially considering how well this first film was done. I've seen a few reports now that the FNAF 2 movie is officially in production. They're working on the animatronics. They're still rewriting the script a bit. Seems like filming is set for mid-2024 and the actual release date is going to be early to mid-2025, but feel free to take that with a grain of salt. We're actually still waiting on Blumhouse to officially announce that a second film was in the works, but it's pretty much confirmed at this point thanks to insiders and various articles. But that is going to do it for this probably very long FNAF news video. Like I said, this will likely be the final one of the year. So thank you all so much for joining me on this absolutely crazy journey that has been FNAF in the year of 2023. It's been absolutely insane. And here's to 2024 because I'm thinking the year of FNAF will continue on into next year. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.